Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? Your boy J Man Flow back with some more. Part two of how to know how to play the best defense, lock down any deep, lock down any offense in Madden 17. This video, we're going to talk about the most popular plays in Madden, the most popular formations, the most popular concepts. Number one, we're going to talk about the number one concept you should always look out for. The number one, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. Anybody, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Because I know y'all probably been hit with this hella. The flood concept. This right here. I'm going to show y'all right here. This thing right here, bruh. That flat corner streak kills so many people. I still use it to this day. So like I said, we just going to base it on impress. Like I said, you think if you see a running back, a tight end, and a receiver or running if you see if you see something that looks similar to that like even with the wide sale and two by two you got a running back tight end and receiver you see anything right there that can flood you to that side you should automatically be thinking uh oh he about to flood me so in this case i do this in this case this specific case i would that's exactly what i do i'll pit this dude in the flat if, I, if i'm for sure know they doing it i will man him up on a running back and i will leave him in his cloud flat whatever you know what i'm saying I'll leave him there or just put him in a purple just to be safe. That's exactly what I would do, y'all. So then, so then when they do run this play, like I'm watching, the only thing I'm watching is there and everything is locked up. I know a lot of y'all going to be like, well, okay. Uh, well, let's say, okay. No matter what they do, like just always prepare for it. Flat corner. So then you don't got to watch anything else. I just even, I would even just go use this guy. Just in case they bring everything to this side of the field. So this is the only side I'm covering. So I'm seeing this. And then I can just watch this and watch that. And you're like, well, that guy is wide open right there. But at least you shut down a first read. And usually nobody runs that spot route. So that wouldn't be open. But always just prepare for the flood concept. Because if you don't and you just run a defense like this, he could have threw it to RB. He could have did so much with that play. That's why, like I always said, base line press. Put that guy in a flat. Put that guy in a purple. And I'll probably man him up on Y. That's exactly what I would do in this situation. It's exactly what I do. Watch this route, and that's it. That's all I would do. That's the first thing. Just recognize the popular concepts people like to use. Like, everybody tell me you don't know one person who don't try this on you. If this has never been ran on you, I don't know what game you playing. Because let me show you what a flat corner, let me show you what this can do. Like, look, they can easily get 5, 10, 10 yards with that. That's what everybody loves to do. And the second concept we're going to talk about, it's a lot of, like, that's the number one thing you want to watch out for, Matt, in the flood concept. If you ever see a running back, tight end, receiver out there, something that looks, even something that looks similar to that. Like, I'm going to show y'all different formations. Like, even right here, this doubles thing. Like, y'all see, look at FL spot. You streak that guy out there, you got the running back in the flat, tight end on the corner, then you got a streak. You see anything like that, if you, if you think it's a possibility, you just Pit that guy in a flat and pit the corner in a purple. Like, pit the slot corner. To, that's all you're going to do. Now, let's talk about the other popular formation. Or, yeah, formations. Four verticals. Everybody favorite play when they get shut down. Boy, 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 I tell you, boy. Tell me you ain't running to four verticals when nobody, they ain't had nothing else to do. So, like I said, we're going to baseline and press. Like I told y'all in the other video, this is what all literally I would do in this formation. Man up the slot. Man him up. I think four verticals coming. And I will, uh... I probably wouldn't play a hard flat. I'd probably do something like this and just use it at running back route myself. Then when they do hike the ball, I'm waiting. I'm sitting here. I'm on a running back. Nothing they can do. You can literally stop any formation out this. As long as you know what they can go to. Like, if you're telling me you don't line up with somebody, you don't, whatever, I don't care if you think they're going if you think they going to run the ball, just pinch the D-line. Do the same thing. If you just commit to it or make an adjustment to always stop it and be prepared. That's my number one thing. Be prepared for anything and everything. And y'all say, well, what if they don't do four verticals? What if they do something else? Well, if they do something else, these adjustments, like those adjustments can work for anything. Like Let's say they even go to, I don't even know. I don't even know what this play action play is. Look, we just going to hike it. Y'all see, I'm not even really looking at it. Like, look, y'all, there's nothing they can really do like. Especially because when you man people up, like I said, when you man people up from the other side of the field, it's real hard for them to run crossing routes, drag routes. And like I said, everybody love to throw the, the tight end, slot receiver, and um, tight end, slot receiver, and running back. So you will naturally force them 
to utilize the outside receivers because those are the only people you're not manning up really so you're going to force them to try to find some type of way to use them in a game even if they go to this stick they do something like this that's open but you can just use that like i said there's a lot of stuff you can do with this so number one just recognize popular uh concepts you got the flood concept you got the uh four verticals concept the the last thing people like to run that i noticed this year verticals out of gun bunch week i'm gonna show you how to shut this shit the fuck down bro everybody like to do this they like to do that they like to motion this guy out right first of all they're motioning this guy out they can still get yards right i mean i guess but when you in that soft squad do not play the hard flats please do not ever play hard flats yeah, y'all don't really wanna unless because if you play the hard flats, like you like, what if you don't? That's gonna happen. They can't really do nothing with this, y'all. This, I mean, they can probably if they throw it early enough. Like they can't really, it's gonna get picked off, so they can't really do that. The only mistake you don't wanna make when going against that, if you shade underneath, cause like soft squad's gonna take away. But if you shade underneath and they do this, that's like it could, it's basically a one play touchdown for them. They can go like this. You're going to shade underneath. And all they're going to do is pass lead it and do that. So that's what you don't want to do. Don't shade underneath. Just lead. I'm telling you, your soft squats, especially if you base the line and press, there's nothing they doing with this soft squat. There's nothing they doing. But say you're like, oh, Jimmy, I put the dude in a purple to uh, watch out for the Z spot because they're they trying to flood me. I'm like, okay, okay. Just if you really think that's coming, put that guy in a flat, put that guy in a purple. This will stop this too. Like, it's nothing they can do about it. Like, it's nothing they can do about it. Y'all see, it, that will stop that too. I'm telling y'all, because when y'all prepare for different things, it helps other things. That's not the only thing it stops. So that's the other thing. And make sure y'all, especially, all right, Gun Bunch Week, this is what I was talking about. Everybody's favorite person to throw it to is that RB route. So all, what did I tell y'all to do? All you're going to do is hit Y, man coverage, RB. That's what you're going to do. If you think they throwing, if they start dragging you with a tight end, you're going to hit A on this linebacker. Cover him right there. Everything's covered. So the only thing you watch him, what people like to do, is put this guy on a slant and motion hike him. So if they do that, we just gonna see. If they do that. All we doing is watching him when he come across the middle. Everything else is locked up. So the only the in but gun bunch week, if you take away this uh this point, John Brown right here, if you just man him up from across the field. PA post shut down, vertical shut down. If you take away this man right here in Gun Bunch Week, everything is shut down, y'all. I'm telling you. There's nothing much they can do except for throw the drag to the tight end. If they want to do that, you just man him up there. You know what I'm saying? Or you can do something like this. If you really, you can shade underneath, then put that guy in a purple, then put this guy in a flat. So then if that tight end do go across and you want to keep this hook to watch the slant, that tight end do go across, all he doing is running into a... Uh, all he doing is running to a flat route, and you see everything just gets covered just by just by manning up RB because that's everybody's favorite route. Without that, uh, without that middle route, gun bunch we can shut down. I'm telling you, and with those soft squats, corner strike shut down. Everything is shut down. We just gonna go straight back into it. Now we gonna talk about stopping the run out of plays with this formation. Uh, what's a very popular run this year? Um, they're gonna go with the inside zone or the base, halfback base. I'm going to show you how this stops to run. The run fits. All you're going to do is baseline. Press. Pinch your D-line. I always do that. Baseline, press, pinch my D-line, QB contain, then make my adjustment from there. That's how this is exactly what I do. In for Like I told you, I'm watching the flood. So then if they do run the ball, it's it's like that time they got free, but it, it's like normally you don't want to i don't always pinch my d line i just edge rush so they don't hit the outside because if you stop people from hitting the outside they whole run game is shut down because they don't most people don't take the uh most people will not take and then i keep we contain i don't know why i said pinch the d line like most people like i don't know why tom Ali ran out the way most people uh most people when they do uh what am I saying? Most people, when they do run the ball, they like to hit the outside. That's all they want to do. Usually, I will bluff blitz this guy, contain, and I just stand right here. So then when they hike the ball, I'm there, I'm there, I'm watching, I'm watching. I'm just feeling. That's all you got to do. Halfback base is one of the toughest runs in the game. But only, don't be running this against strong power saying, well, this is this, this, and that. 
if they do come out in like a three by one set run strong power this will still slow it down it's not gonna give up the big yards like like i just bluff push that guy right there that's what i always do so then i do that he hits the outside it's shut down y'all so this baseline press edge rush uh man man your dudes up because i'm telling y'all the run fits in this formation is ridiculous like look at them like they got every run fit covered up so all you're gonna do is stand here if you think they're running come here he didn't get the block shed there but you see how much it slows down a run with david johnson being david johnson but that's just part two of how to get better at man y'all i'm gonna hit y'all with a part three let me know what y'all want to see in part three let me know what else y'all need to work on i'm pretty sure cover all the basic of madden uh, the flood concept, the four verticals concept, uh, gun bunch week, running the ball, uh, how to stop drag routes, how to stop things coming across the field, how to basically shut down any offense. Like with this formula, just go in the game right now and try this. You don't like this just so you don't have to blitz. And if you best if you mix this in with your blitzes, giving them time, then just rushing four at them, getting two free. I mean, the world is y'all's. I'm telling y'all, just practice, practice, practice. But until then, it's your boy J-Man Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It, Let's Go.